Uh, Go man, ahead, Coach. Introduce this topic. But speaking about hate, man. Oops, Jason Lee alleges Megan the Stallion and Winnie Harlow. Wait, Harlow? Mm-hmm. A guy into a fight at the Michael Rubin all white party. Now, I'm going to play this video. There's no fighting at the white party. I'm just. Let's see. It's always fight. Just It don't always happen at black parties. Happen at white parties, too. Stop being racist. Listen, yeah. Listen, yeah. Oh. Just because Donald Trump is off is not. It's like on the eastbound and down weapon. whenever he was like. They're like, hey, we heard you in rehab. They're like, did you get hurt? And he was like, hurt. And he's like, oh, yeah, I guess you could say I hurt my nose. <laughs> Play the video. Yo, I hurt my nose. <laughs> Megan, listen, I wish you the best. You seem happy today. Um, everybody keeps asking me to release the tea on Megan that I said I was going to release. Um, release more than tea. She got in a fight been, with Winnie Harlow I, at uh, Michael Rubin's party. I don't have all the d- full details yet, and I'm waiting on the video. But I've texted Megan and Winnie, so there you go. Boom. Hold on. <laughs> have a good weekend. It's time for thoughts and prayers. Boom. And that's it. That's all you have, man. So basically what's going on is back in July, uh, July 4th, it was the all-white party for Michael Rubin. If you don't know about it, we talked about it, covered a couple episodes ago. I can't believe it. Where's Kuzma at? I mean, when you need him, I mean, I don't know if he was. Um, bricks. You know, he wasn't he there again. He was over there getting man hugs last time. He was probably hugging Michael Rubin from the back. Oh lord! But um, I want to know this, cause do you think they was fighting over Tory Lanez? Because you know, she nah. when is when he's from Canada, Megan Thee Stallion was Likes getting Canadians. stallion. What are you talking about? I heard she was also at Mark Appleyard. Mark Mark Appleyard. What kind of name was Appleyard? He was a skater of the year back in the day. Oh lord, she be everywhere. She around town, man. One oh, of the best th- Canadians ever. Disrespectful, and what she was she's making a style. I can't even keep up with making style anymore. But and like, Tori Craig, so so you don't think so you don't think that she was doing it to re- send uh, stand up a Canadian brother make Tori Lance because you know she she's put trying her to turn no her into Canadian bacon exactly because she put in she put Tori in jail for no reason. Everybody know Kelsey did what she did. Yeah, it's not. She's lucky that uh, Jamal Murray and Shea Gildas Alexander weren't there. Mm. They could have got the Canadian basketball team to whoop her. True, true. But then at the same time, I mean, if you already know Megan, you got to know Megan. Megan is not is known for putting hands on people. She put her hands on Kelsey. She put her hands on Tori. She put her hands on the stylist, and she put her hands on her ex boyfriend when she got arrested. She and she about put that. her hands on G Easy. Not like that. <laughs> That's nasty. <laughs> Disrespectful. <laughs> <laughs> oh man But I mean After doing my research On this whole situation I mean it, it's, it's just a whole bunch Of rumors going on Nobody has the whole video Everybody's like Oh if, if I actually happened I mean <laughs> El Quavo was there The Kardashian was there Tom Brady was there I wish I would've been there You would've dropped the video? No I would've been The first person to separate the fight You would've copped the field You one of those are not you? No I know He was I'm one of the Harvey Weinstein's Separate, <laughs> separate. <laughs> Why your hair so long? <laughs> They tall. You have to keep it. <laughs> so to keep the girls separated. Uh, Kuzma gonna slam dunk you in the pool. Watch Kuzma. I could score on Kuzma. Not horrible, but I mean, it's crazy how all this happened and nobody talked about it at all. I mean, this is the first time you ever heard any rumors about it. Because I remember when I was going to Hope and doing Hope with research on this, all you was all they talked about was oh Shabuzi performed, uh, Travis Scott was the DJ, Gorilla was drunk, Glorilla was drunk. We met Beyonce. Gorilla's always drunk. She's Ooh. like she's like the little boozy girls. <laughs> they gonna go with you in the comments. I mean, she's they, cool. They gonna get you in the comments. I don't hate her. But I mean, do you? So with this going on, so this is coming out. Also, is coming out is that uh, the Grammys is coming out. We're gonna talk about that later. But I mean, I don't think uh, Megan Thee Stallion has any nominees for that. We also heard about of her. Of course not. Her last album didn't do uh, didn't do good, even though it was a deluxe. It didn't really sell that good. I think it's on like forty k or something like that. Listen, to that. do you triple think, cardboard? Do you think Karma is finally coming? And then Megan for who, Megan? Yeah, and she's finally finna fall off. Nah. She going for she K-pop. She already found the cheat code. The K-pop? It ain't gonna last forever. She, she, got- she, no, but I mean, like, she's, like, really leaning into it. Like, she did this song with Yuka Chiba. Mm-hmm. That she was twice. an international hit. Now she's doing, like, the uh, uh, double remix of the same song, not even doing another song, but twice. And then she's still hanging out over there in Seoul, Korea. Um, mm-hmm. Like, hanging out and doing all kinds of promotion, probably lining up more work. And she was, like... Whenever people look me up, they're going to see hit, hit, hit. But it uh-huh. doesn't say, like, oh, my last three hits 
was mainly international crowd views where all my other hits are maybe like 85 percent american or maybe this one is like 70 percent international mm -hmm. so we'll, we'll see but it seems like she's uh trying to you know go into the, the international crowd which is Trust. honestly the best it's thing smart she can do. because if you if you're good in the states and you can be good internationally where you can double dip like that like you no one's gonna mess with you that's when you get like at least the numbers from black pink True. She's famous in the states, famous in K-pop, like doing a hundred, like what Rockstar did over a hundred million on YouTube. Oh, like like the, that's like Taylor Swift type numbers. I mean, oh yeah, up there with Taylor. I mean, yeah, Taylor Swift goes overseas, she kill it. I mean, Nicki Minaj already doing it. She be doing her like she be. She, I think she did her tour back to back just because it was so big. It was so much. So, Soldier Boy had like a whole second career overseas. True. Like oh, yeah. he kind of fell off over here, but he was selling out arenas all over Europe and um, really all over the place overseas. So, I mean, yeah, you really can do it. I mean, yeah, you can really we can do it. Really but can. this is besides the point, Coach. We got to know, if it comes down to it, you're at the white party. Uh-huh. And you see Megan looking at you, giving the eyes. Mm -hmm. And Winnie looking at you, giving the eyes. Who you walking to? You got Meg on the left and Winnie at the right. They're both leaned up on a different side of the bar. And they staring at you. I heard, man, but get black. I heard, giving those inviting eyes. I heard, like man. the come on down eyes. I heard the uh, price is right. Megan the Stallion gives uh, uh sends, sends black men to jail, so I don't know if I want to go down that rabbit hole. But at the but same it, time, I do like a lot of toxicity. You know, no, 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 no cooler cats better than toxic cooler cats. Oh my god! I'm just saying. You, 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 I, everyone banish him in the comment section. You got, he you, wants to talk about me, and then he's over here, Chris Browning. What you mean? The best kind of freaky. It's the toxic freak. I'm just saying. If I didn't make you cry 30 minutes before I hit, I don't want it. If you ain't trying to run me over with your car just because I ain't get you no McFlurry from McDonald's, I don't. I don't want it. If you ain't never been chased by an, uh, someone with a knife, and then made up 30 minutes later after you called your mama, and she knew about it, you already know what it is. No, that's, that's the best that's, that's that's way over the top. <laughs> like, she mama, she calling me. She calling me. Uh, she she uh, chasing me down the block. She chasing me down the block. Then, then uh, then twenty <laughs> minutes later, you call your uh, call your mama back. You know, thirty minutes later, your mama call you back again. He be like, "It's all right, mom. We made it's up. All right. We made up." She, she apologized. She, she was just on a postpartum. Oh uh, no! Uh, oh no! Oh, no! Oh no! Uh, oh, hold on. <laughs> Can we have a moment of silence for my Costa's podcasting career? Time of death. <laughs> I'm what not even going to say the time. Oh, my <laughs> God. You just They don't need to know when recording. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, your career is over, Doc. What do you we mean? get a Spotify contract or Barstool or wherever you want to go, they're going to play that clip, and you're getting yanked. Wait, wait. And then I'm going to be like, oh, I'm going to be like Mr. Beast. I didn't know what happened. <laughs> What you mean? I take these. I take these off your notes. No, this is your notes. That's your handwriting. They can see it. That's a lie. I don't even write that clean. He's lying. But I any, wrote my left hand. Anything else on? Nah, uh, make but the I mean, stuff? hopefully the hopefully the video comes out. I mean, I wish Celebrity Death Match was still going on. Let's get it on. So we could. Uh, let's get it on. Let's have a good clean fight. I don't want to see no clean fight. I want to see. I want to see nails, hair pulling. I want to see this fight. You I know, I wonder if Celebrity Death Match is so old that we could react to it and like they wouldn't care. Mm, true that, true that, true that. We should. They should make another celebrity death match. I want to see. Uh, we D could even do it on this. No, it would, I mean, I want to see them put DJ Academics in a Royal Rumble. You just want to put him in a Royal Rumble. Hey yo, what see Beyonce fight Taylor Swift? Who gonna win that battle? That's not. They're not even in the same weight class. Beyonce would just sit on her. That's How's that racist? Yeah. She a black woman. Disrespect me after Kamala Harris just lost. They sensitive right now, co-hosts. You can't be talking like that. It's alright. <laughs> They'll be alright. <laughs> like, like my co-host always says, "They'll be alright." They'll be alright. <laughs> They'll be alright. <laughs> well, moving on. We're gonna tell you we can be alright. We can move on. I don't want to move on. Who <laughs> move? A woo woo woo. You sound like <laughs> what is it? Uh, babe. Oh, Lord. The pig. La, la, la. 